Welcome to another travel vlog. Hey, I'm here in Cusco, Peru. This is my third city. It's about an hour and a half flight from Lima, but there's also an option to take a bus. Cusco is the highest city in Peru. It's about 3,300 meters above sea level. People who want to go to Machu Picchu start from Cusco. Now taking some altitude pills will really help your body adjust to the climate. You can buy these in all pharmacies in Peru. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet. It's about 1 in the afternoon. I've been just working a little and um, yeah, trying to catch up some editing for you guys. So, all right. <laughs> Okay, now I need to refill my water bottle. This is actually my hostel. This is the common kitchen where you can cook. So I'm staying in a hostel, but I booked a private room just because I want my own privacy and also just like working on my own. I like working inside my room. So there's also a common area where you can dine. There are these are some meals over here. Um, it's also a co-working space. So yeah, okay, now I need to fill my water bottle. Okay, alright. Today is a beautiful day. I'm walking towards a Korean restaurant. I know what you guys are thinking. Like, Ave, you're in Peru. Why would you eat Korean food in Peru? I've been here in Peru for about two, three weeks now. All I've been eating is Peruvian food. And now I'm just craving for other dishes. That's pretty cute. So, and they do have some complimentary tea. This is the view of the plaza. It's right in the corner. Hello. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Got the whole shebang here. I got the bibimbap. I have a lot of things going on right here. Gracias. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. Yeah, <laughs> this is so beautiful. Like, are you guys ready? Wait, let me cross the street. Are you guys ready for this? here like look at the old houses I just asked some tourists to take a photo of me okay now um, I'm at Plaza de Armas and this by far is the biggest plaza I've seen here in Cusco I can't believe I'm here <laughs> keep on asking strangers to take photos of me that's the thing about solo traveling you don't have anyone to take photos of you so what I do is I ask strangers to take photos of me as long as you say nicely like excuse me can you take a photo of me these are old houses that turn into like this one is Starbucks some are restaurants some are shops pharmacies or groceries you won't starve when you're traveling in Peru 
there's always food available when you're here. I'm gonna go inside the church since it's open and we'll show to you guys how it is inside. Wow, look at the door. Whoa. <laughs> Look at all the details, it's crazy. Okay. Oh, there's an entrance fee. Sorry guys, I'm on a budget. <laughs> I'll be spending most of my money for Machu Picchu. That is why I'm saving a little bit. Also, if you guys are wondering how I stay connected in every trip, like in every country, you probably haven't seen it on the description box, but it's always been there. I have this pocket Wi-Fi called Temp. The link is always below. SIM cards, it can be really pricey. It just adds up if you go from one country to another country. So for me, this is the best option, having a pocket Wi-Fi. It caters to a lot of countries, which is perfect for travelers like me. This is the start of the market, I think. Ah, uh, hola. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm here in Feria Artisanal. A lot of my friends told me to buy the ponchos here because it's most likely cheaper than the ones in Lima. As soon as you walk in, you'll see a lot of stalls already. Those are really pretty. I'm trying to look for a red poncho, a cute red poncho, because you guys know how much I love the color red. And if it's Machu Picchu, the contrast between the green and the red will be perfect. So hopefully I'll get nice photos once I get to Machu Picchu. <laughs> Hola! <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's pretty overwhelming because like the shops are a little bit similar to each other and it's like oh that's cute and then you go to another one oh that's kind of cute too so since this is just a small market it's easy if you go around first oh the llamas oh my gosh it's so dark yeah excuse me cuenta uh, 48 okay. Oh, gracias. I think when I was in Lima, it's about a hundred dollars. So yeah, it is cheaper here. This is also cute, but it looks heavy. You also gotta consider before you buy a poncho that you have enough space in your luggage because it can take a lot of kilos. Alpaca baby is of course expensive because oh, wow battery is about to die oh no so this one is cheaper because it's not baby alpaca get a beanie just because I want to look I want to see if it will look good in photos High five. <laughs> everything is 140 soles which is chi ching I'll be traveling to other countries as well, so I won't take the risk. I'll definitely have a hard time carrying my luggage. Wow, this is great. Uh, how Five soles. Hi, 
day. I am back here in my room. First off, I got these beanies. The same lady I got the poncho from. She said 30 and I asked if I can get it for 20 and she said yes. The one that I got is a baby llama which is softer. I really like the prints of this one and it's also back to back. It's not that obvious but this print is different from this print, she said. So I got this for 120 solace. This is what I will look like in Machu Picchu. I can wear it like this. <laughs> I'll literally, I'll probably wear the same shirt. So please don't judge me if I wear the same shirt because I don't have much clothes with me. I got this. And this, both of these, for 45 solace. So since I gave the lady 50, I asked her how much this is. She said 5 solace, so I got myself a pouch. All in all, I spent 190 solace, and now I'm broke.